if if a police officer uses a chokehold and uses excessive force to to use that chokehold and ends up seriously injuring somebody, it could become a crime. And finally, this case, because it's a felony, it must go before a grand jury. A prosecutor cannot charge a person with a felony. You can initially arrest somebody with a felony, and you can recommend felony charges, but it must, by operation of law in New York, go before a grand jury. And it did go before a grand jury. And witnesses did testify before a grand jury. I question the the, uh, the uh, credibility and the integrity of that grand jury, but it did go before a grand jury. And the grand jury decided there was not enough credible evidence to vote an indictment. It's really hard to believe when you actually say it and you hear it, uh, but uh, you are 100% right on that, and uh, I'll never understand that, uh, and uh, I don't think a lot of other lawyers uh, will either, but uh, before we say goodnight, uh, I'll tell you, Alex, you live in the tri-state area, as do I, uh, you know, did you find it this morning unusually cold? Or is that just me? Oh, my. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I think I got sick. I'm, I'm suffering really? right now <clears throat> from a little cold. I went right. to work today, and um, I wore a coat, and I, I right. uh, had my hat in my car. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm a little coughing right now. I had my hat in my car. I decided, ah, I don't need my hat, and I didn't even have a <laughs> scarf. Anyway, I walked to my office. I'm saying to myself, man, alive, it's freezing. Luckily, I had my gloves. But then I had to walk to court, which is about two or three blocks away from my office. I was absolutely right. freezing. And then yes. I had to walk down to the train station when I went to do the show today. My head was an icebox. I mean, wow. I realized, you know what? I mean, I finally took a scarf <clears throat> and I put it over my head. It looked like Little Red Riding Hood or something like that. And I was just using it to protect my head because I was so cold. And, it really uh, felt like Russia. Russia. And, oh, and I, I hear that this weekend it's going to be down to zero. It's going to be and cold I'm not in the mood today. It felt like oh zero. What do you goodness. think it was today in New York? I, it has to be. Has, uh, the wind chill made it feel like one. It had to be in the teens. I, yeah, I like know. I'm just 12. saying the wind chill factor. Oh, it was bad. It I'm hearing like that it's going to be month. zero. Not Without the wind chill factor, I'm hearing it's going to be zero. Oh, <laughs> so my God. You better, get, oh you better uh, you know, get your little muffins and, and get your, <laughs> uh, you know, woolen socks and your long johns, Jordan, because it's going to be cold this weekend. Oh my goodness! Yes, yes, yes. It's, uh, at least you know, you know, in the first couple of months of the winter here in New York, it wasn't so bad. But uh, look, this is six weeks, seven weeks. It'll be spring, and we will we'll be forgetting about this hopefully. So, uh, but I want to thank you so much for coming back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Sanchez one is on Nancy Grace earlier tonight, and if you missed that by any chance. At 2 a.m. East Coast time, uh, there is a replay, and you can catch it as well as uh, in, a, in a day or so on my YouTube channel. King Jordan, Alex Sanchez, will be on uh, on the latest as we discussed it. So um, he is a regular on the Nancy Gray Show, and uh, he did a very good job uh, tonight. Uh, uh, being again on Nancy Grace, and uh, you know, I'd like to see you on Dr. Drew. I know he's in Los Angeles, but maybe through Skype, uh, one day you will be on the Dr. Drew show. Yeah, I think I think it would be kind of fun to go on there because he talks a lot about you know mental. It's like a mental health show <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jane Velez Mitchell you know, was on I, there yesterday. Really? You know, I haven't seen Jane Belez Mitchell in a while. I don't know what she's doing. You know, I, I saw her in, a, in studio a couple of years ago, maybe two or three years ago. But after that, she kind of disappeared. I hope she's all right. I hope she's got some something well, going. There's a whole bunch of people that got fired. Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah. You know. she, she lost her lost her position. 
And there was a lot of attorneys that used to go on her show because she had like, you know, she had, it seemed like six or seven attorneys were going on that show at once. And once the show collapsed, none of those attorneys were ever seen again. And uh, Yeah, and you take a show like um, True Crime, uh, not uh, Infection, which was Court TV in the early days, which you were on, uh, and Nancy and Mickey and all the greats. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. it's very saddening to see it uh, sometimes and then uh, know that it's not around anymore because I, for one, from an outsider's version, I used to love Court TV, you know, with uh, Jamie Floyd, uh, uh, Savannah Guthrie, all of them. Oh, yeah, you. Savannah Guthrie. You know, Savannah Guthrie went on to work on Channel 4. She's a major newscaster. Um, yeah, she's a major what newscaster. What is it, the Today Show? Today, yes, yeah, the she, Today Show, Jim. NBC. She's a big show. With Matt Lauer. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Yeah, Matt Lauer. She's so I used to work with Savannah lead. Guthrie. She's always very nice. Always very nice. Yes, yes, and... Uh, Wow, I talk about from going from one place to a, an extreme. I mean, you bring out a very good point. I mean, she's on Court TV one day, and then a few years later, she's hosting hosting the Today Show. That's pretty big. Yeah, you know something? I'm going to tell you about some of the hosts on that, the Court TV. Savannah Guthrie went from Court TV to hosting the Today Show. Nancy Grace went from Court TV to, hands, to hosting, you know, um, this show that she has right now. And then there Prime was Time even show, um, yes. Jane Velez Mitchell. She hosted some shows and then she had her own show. But there was another person, another there were other hosts, right? Which I'm not going to yeah. mention their names, but there was one guy sure. there and he used to do, he used to host on that. He used to host on Court TV and then Court TV, you know, uh, disappeared. And then one day I see, uh, I talked to a friend of mine. He goes, hey, you know that guy that used to, Host a show on on uh, Court TV. Yeah, now he's doing college football games. Not even really? on TV. He's just at some really? college football games, announcing over a radio. <laughs> and it oh seemed like, you know, how come he didn't step down. achieve greatness? And he, you know, it seemed almost like a step down to be doing college yeah. radio shows. You know, sports yeah, that shows. would be like Howard sports. Stern uh, doing, a, you know, a college radio. Uh, yeah. You know, could you yeah. imagine that Howard Stern doing college radio? I mean, and some of the some of the people com- some of the people completely disappeared. Um, I know there were some people that had shows and they uh, they lasted a little while and then they they went off into the sunset. I never heard from them again. Um, I've often wondered what happened to those people. So. You go on these shows, and some people make it big, some people disappear, and some people just maintain a steady course, you know. I guess I'm yep. somewhere in the middle. Yes, uh, well, we, we are fortunate that we get to see you, and uh, listen, anybody, at any time, uh, you need uh, help uh, with anything regarding the laws, do not hesitate Uh Call Alex Sanchez uh, right away. I mean, you, you never know. But if you're listening to King Jordan Radio right now on iTunes and there's something legal that's going on in your family, you go ahead and, uh, Alex, why don't you uh, plug your website so that people know yeah, where to I mean, go. Uh, I invite everybody who's listening to the show, um, take a look at my website, alexandersanchez.com. There's a few articles there. There's a few photographs there. It tells you something about my self-practice and my uh, insistence that everybody's entitled to be treated properly in the criminal justice system. And uh, you might find it interesting. And, uh, of course, if you're ever in need of a criminal defense attorney and you have nowhere else to turn, you're welcome to call my office. Absolutely, and uh, I know you, you, you're you right there for the clients. Uh, you're a very talented lawyer, and uh, nothing but the best with Alex Sanchez. Alex, thanks so much for joining us this week. Uh, we will see you in the near future. I appreciate you coming on. Terrific. Great being on the show. Thanks a lot, Jordan. Good night. 
Have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the legendary Alex Sanchez, as you requested. Uh, I did bring him back to the show, and he did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, but I do want to inform you uh, that we're on iTunes now, so you can hear us all over the world. Uh, give us a review, and then, you know, you'll see uh, more. Uh, well, we're starting next week, with, uh, we're going on Wednesday and Thursday. Well, it's going to be a tryout, at least. We're going to have Phoenix defense attorney Jason Lamb on Wednesday's show. And then on Thursday, we're going to have uh, criminal New York defense attorney Richard Herman. So we might go to Wednesdays and Thursdays. We are next week. I believe it's a, um, President's Week or whatnot. So I did want to let you know about that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, please follow me on Twitter at King Jordan Radio. Uh, just King Jordan R A D, Facebook forward slash King Jordan Radio, and because uh, I will have the videos of what you're listening to right now in the next few days up. So uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, I know we did discuss uh, Michael Jackson earlier, but like I said, it's Black History Month, so every week we'll hear.